my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be all about this look right here. I used my model Mia to achieve this beautiful blue smoky glam. I'm obsessed with how it turned out so make sure you stay tuned and see how I achieved this look. Enjoy! So Mia's eyes are primed and ready to go so let's get started with the tutorial. I'm going to use my MAC 209 with my Makeup Forever 608 shadow. It's like a deep earthy burgundy shade. I love this shade, especially for contouring the crease and really making it defined. Now I'm going to go in with my Chanel number 19 just to start to create a transition shade. And I'm also going to use Anastasia's Caramel to create that transition shade with the Makeup Forever shadow we put in the crease. I love these two together because it really creates the perfect transition and it gives me that really warm, earthy tone in her crease. I'm going to go in with that Makeup Forever shadow one more time just to add some more definition to the crease. I feel like all that blending can really take away from that outline that we did earlier. So I'm going to deepen it up again. Now I'm going to go in with that Chanel brush one more time in NARS Persia. As you can see, this is a very bright shade. But this color actually complements all those dark earthy tones. And it's going to create a really beautiful transition shade as you can see here. I did the other eye off camera, so now let's get started with the lid. So I used Urban Decay Evidence, my Sephora Precision Shader, and my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Mist and Fix is literally one of my favorite products out there. I love what it does to eyeshadows. It really just makes them pop, especially the metallic ones because it gives it this really beautiful foil finish. In a tapping motion, I'm just going to slowly build that shadow and work my way up to the crease. Because of Mia's eye shape, I'm going to take this shadow a little bit higher than her crease just to give it more of that eye-opening effect. Now with my NARS Precision Blender, I'm going to use that to smoke out her outer V, and I'm using Urban Decay's Blackout. This is the blackest shadow I've ever met in my life, so it's definitely the perfect shade to create that smoky effect. I love using this brush because it's so small, but it blends while it applies. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to let Mia take over for this part of the video. She is the queen of eyeliner after all, so I'm definitely going to let her take over. She actually has an amazing how to master wing liner tutorial on her channel. I'll have it linked in the description box below. Make sure you check out her channel for the latest hauls, tutorials, and tips and tricks from a pro. God, she's so good at that. Look at it. It's beautiful. So now back to the eyes. So I'm going to use Urban Decay Spandex just to give those eyes an extra pop. I love this product because it's so user friendly, especially if you're a beginner, because everything you need is inside of it. All you do is brush it on, give it a few seconds, and then you're good to go. It's one of my favorite products. Mia's just going to do a quick curl before we get started with some lashes. Today I'm going to use the Lena lashes in the style Sierra. I actually got these for 60% off. They were having a sale. I love them because they have a really beautiful wispy look to them and a winged out outer corner. So it's definitely going to complement that wing liner that we did earlier. She's just going to go in with a little bit of eyeliner to disguise that lash band and then the lashes are done and good to go. Now we're going to start to smoke out that lower lash line so I'm going to grab that Makeup Forever shadow just to start at the outer corner then slowly work my way in. Definitely take your time with this one you guys and build that smokiness until you're comfortable with it. Now with my Anastasia Caramel, I'm going to use my NARS Precision Shader to start to create a transition shade on the lower lash line, blending those two colors together. Now I'm going to grab my Chanel number 14 just to add a little bit more smokiness to her lower lash line with Urban Decay's Blackout. So I'm just going to smudge that into her eyeliner and slowly drag it from one end to the other just to create a little bit more depth. I'm going to go in with more of that Makeup Forever shadow just to blend out that black. I didn't want it to look so harsh. I definitely wanted it to have more of a soft, blended look. So I'm going to start to finish up the rest of the face just because I find that a lot of people do really heavy eyes, really heavy lips, heavy blush, and then the whole face has no balance. So that's why I kind of take the time to stop where I am right now and 
finish up the rest of the face just to determine if I need to add any more smokiness to the eye or any last minute touch ups. For me, makeup is all about balance and I really wanted this look to not be overwhelming so that's why I took this step. So now that I finished up the whole face, I'm going to do one last and final touch up to the eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of that illuminator we used on the face earlier to her tear duct and I'm going to wet it with my mist and fix just to make it pop a little bit more. It's one of my favorite tricks and I really feel like this took the eyes to the next level. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for tuning in you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I also hope that you learned a lot. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comment box below. All the items used are in the description box. And make sure to stay tuned for a new video every Monday. Enjoy!